Thank you, Leanne. It's called I've Got a Life in Kalamazoo. It's a sitcom, and it's created by these two people right here. This is such a story, Teresa and Patrick, that I just read about one sentence and said, we have to talk to you. Oh, because not you. only is a sitcom with the word Kalamazoo in it interesting, but the stars of this show are legends yeah. of television. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about Marion that. Marion Ross and Ed Asner. As in Mrs. Cunningham. Yeah, I know. And, and Lou Grant. <laughs> and it's, Lou Grant. It's a little surreal to have really met is. them. The for, well, this is your story when he was talking to Mrs. C on the phone for the first time. Yeah, she called um, to talk about uh, some part of the production and everything, and I had not met her yet. So hearing that voice growing up and then hearing it over the phone, I just was like, really, is this happening right now? <laughs> because I grew up watching her, yeah. and I had such a connection to that show with my mother who passed away this year. So there was just this talking to TV's mom and thinking about my mom, and it was just amazing. And she's a phenomenal actress as well. Well, you also yeah. have Vicki Lewis from News Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how far along are we in this process? Uh, we've been writing the show for some time. We've been kind of workshopping it a little bit and sharing it with folks. We got really good feedback on mm -hmm. a couple of scripts that we had done. And so we decided uh, to try our hand at casting it, throw it out to some folks, put them in front of an audience, and t kind of take it to the next level, kind of so we're getting it set up to pitch. Uh, and we sent it out, and the cast that we chose said all yes. said yes. So <laughs> We had no worries about um, having to go back wow. and get anybody else, and uh, so we're set to start working it with them. Well, Patrick, uh, she mentioned an audience. You've got a live performance or yes. a live read-through coming up, correct? Yeah, it's a stage reading, so um, people will be reading from their scripts, but it's going to be very staged, and people will be interacting with each other, mm -hmm. and then we're filming that in front of a live audience at the Museum of Broadcast Communications in Chicago. So we, it, the show itself takes place between Kalamazoo and Chicago and so we thought Chicago is a, a great place for it. We actually looked at doing it in Grand Rapids and there were no theaters available at the oh. time. <laughs> that we, we had a certain window we could do it truthfully because of our cast's availability. So we knocked on the door there and they said why don't you do it here and it's just lined up perfectly for us because of their appeal with classic TV and they want to do more uh, new media innovative stuff as we've been told. <laughs> so it w lined up great. And when can we see this on television? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully next year <laughs> or this uh, year later. Yeah, I mean, you, who knows? You don't know how this process goes. One of the things that we've really um, wanted to do is we've gone through all of this in our careers just to enjoy every moment. And in the in the now moment, yep. we are doing a, our sitcom yep. with amazing talent in Chicago, and we can't wait for the next step, which is to start shopping it. So. Outstanding. Come Thank see you. us again and keep us updated Thank on all the progress. So Thank Thanks you. Patrick, thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you.